Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hi. Amen, 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 amen. I think I need to say another prayer just for some. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, y'all see it. Seafood bowl, sausage, shrimp, potatoes, lobster, crab legs, corn. You see that corn? You see that lemon? This is bee loves. And let me squirt some lemon over my eyes. back because we're gonna drink a simply peach spite and trust and believe I got some water to the side okay let's see if we get another thumbnail Hope that'll do it, because that's about to be it. I don't know what I want to start with first. And, you know, I be striving to get a deep, dark red sauce. But what I notice is, I don't use a lot of butter. You see how red it is on top? That's the butter. That's how much butter versus how much liquid I use. So I ain't gonna never really get that deep, dark, red sauce that you see with other mukbangers. Cause I just simply refuse to use all that butter. I'm gonna keep it hot, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. It gives me acid reflux, okay? The butter, all that grease, yeah. Lobster, let's start with that first. everybody doing today as for me I can't complain cuz what it ain't gonna change a thing I'm just gonna see if I can do something okay like drop it down y'all yeah yeah cuz I don't like eating over the top on the top of myself, if that makes sense. I got me a little fan to the side over here. Yeah, I'm scoot back just a little bit. There we go. The only thing I don't have today, y'all, is eggs, which is my favorite part of it. I just don't have it today. And y'all remember when I said, when I had that shrimp bowl? Mm. That's hot. I had a full seafood bowl, but I didn't <clears throat> want to do it because I didn't let my sauce sit, you know, marinate. This is that sauce. It is still extremely hot. Mm. All I did was uh, add some fresh onions. And just a little dab more salt. never get when I have uh, a seafood bowl. I did the last time. Because I had somebody go get it for me. Something to put my stuff on. Along 
was here and she was able to get it. But Lauren's in school. The kitties are in school. I'm here by myself. Everybody's at work. Go to school. Good, y'all. Yeah. And this is not my first meal of the day. Because I got up this morning and I went to this place called NC Works, which helps people find jobs. Career of not well, career help, you know, instead of a job, a career, um, resume building, you know, all that type of stuff. They also have like career training, they said they specialize in uh, IT, logistics, driver trucks, um, medical, and something else. And I'm very much interested in logistics, possibly. Um, I'm also interested in possibly the medical field. I don't know to what degree. And what they have available. open to all possibilities, okay? Because I'm not looking for a job. You know what I mean? I want a career. I've said it before, I want this to be my last time having to find employment. I know I can't guarantee that to myself. But I've been praying them and I have faith that the Lord is going to, you know, do what the Lord do. Ooh, why was that so hard? Hmm. I'm still waiting on unemployment to make their determination. It keeps telling me that they're trying to uh, validate my separation pay. Or rather, severance pay. I literally gave them the, uh, the stub to that. <coughs> to the severance pay. Mind you, I did all of that when I signed up. Three weeks ago. But... My hope is in the Lord. So I know it's going to be approved. It's just a matter of when. My uh, goal, or, you know, my hope is that it will be here and available and ready for me by September 5th. Why? Because of rent. Yeah, 
and my car payment until I can, you know, get a career going. I am gonna find a job to supplement unemployment. Cause you can still collect unemployment at work. And baby, that's what I'm gonna do. I mean like having a full time paycheck. Talk about something that I seen yesterday watching Be Love. And it put me on a little mission yesterday. She um was talking about how these YouTubers, right? Should have stole off. Hold on. That was the fridge there. And she was talking about these uh YouTubers who uh she call it the mommy sector. You know, women helping their kids and stuff. That vlog. Example such as Peach McIntyre. Um, my Jazzy Life, I want to say. And of course, people offered their opinions. Now, I did not read every single comment. But I did read quite a few comments in their replies. And a lot of people basically said it's their fault. Well, did I tell you what the issue was? These women are having people calling CPS on them. For those who don't know, Child Protective Services. Or contacting the sponsor of their video. Or, you know, people who, you know, sponsor a video. I mean, I say sponsor, partner. Say like, uh, if you watch vlogs, you know what I mean. Like hair sponsors, hair people who have people review their wigs for a product or service, like uh, that food delivery service. Hello Fresh. Now I can't say exactly what sponsor was because I ain't go that deep. But I went to one girl life, I mean not one girl life. I want to say it's the Jazzy life, my Jazzy life. She done show where the, the company she partnered with saying how this person then contacted them more than once, trying to basically stop them from working with her. <clears throat> what possesses people to do stuff like that? Like really, 
How do you know that these people kids are in danger? How do you know that uh, what these people is doing is not right with their life? Oh, I got a fruit fly. Jesus. How could what they do affect you so much? <clears throat> that you are literally calling these people's jobs. Because it's their job. They're getting paid to do it. And telling, telling on them to what degree, I don't know. I don't know what these people are telling them. And then I had to check myself. Because basically, we be passing judgment, and I'm not, let me say me. Me and those people who decide to call them people's uh, partners, we passing judgment on them. For 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, heck, an hour, a week, a day, a day life, and saying what we believe is actually going on in these people's homes. It's 24 hours in a day. People are up at least 12. What's 12 times 7? Whatever that number is. <laughs> Even if we've seen an hour a day of their life, seven days a week, it's still... It's not a true representation of what is actually going on, what they actually do, what is actually said within the home or wherever they at for us to decide how they live in. That'd be like me taking a random um, subscriber who's commented and said something I ain't like. They done, you know, five, six videos. They done said something I don't like. So now I'm going to find out where they job at and just make up something to get them fired. Wow. They made a comment. Why would I do that? Just like, because you've seen a video. Why would you do that? Why would you try to stop somebody from getting paid for their work? What you're really saying is you don't think they deserve the money that they're getting. You don't, you don't think they deserve. And I'm saying, not saying you directly, you know what I'm saying, whoever it is. They don't think they deserve the recognition, the, uh, the admiration, the clout, the whatever it is that these people is getting, and they not. And I even say that with B-Love, too. B-Love really set the standard, the bar for doing mukbangs to what we eat. To what we talk about, to how we eat, to what we wear, all of that. It was fine when she wasn't on national TV. It was fine when she wasn't doing collabs with celebrities. It became a problem is when she started receiving fame and recognition, but just simply 
ini. Let me leave her comment. Talking about her children, her husband. Somebody made a comment. I'm just, I just be reading. I don't respond to it. Some, I have sometimes. I'll be like, it just be ridiculous. How do you decide this? Somebody was talking about congratulations or something about her being wealthy. And come, somebody come in and said, I don't consider her to be wealthy. Do you know what this lady has going on? Like for real, real? Do you know how much money she's actually made? Investments? Or anything? What do you consider wealth? I'm wealthy. I have the use of every part of my body. Some better than others. Some parts better than others. I got my mind. Although sometimes it may not seem like I got it all together. It's there. My family is fine. My kids are fine. My grandkids are fine. I'm wealthy. Y'all can't stand for a while. So many people has called me love ignorant. Like she just ain't smart. She was smart enough to sit down in front of a camera, get millions of subscribers and millions of views, and no longer works for anybody but herself. She not that ignorant. The moms that she was talking about, I seen a comment talking about some. She talking about the ghetto ones. So, ghetto people don't deserve wealth. They don't deserve to prosper. Or is it because you don't think because they haven't met what your standards of life is or how they live in your standards to gain the success that they have got. That's why these people are gonna keep on prospering. That's why these people will continually be blessed in the way that they're being blessed is because of how much judgment they are getting received, getting how much they're being judged for simply being themselves. Is because you know you couldn't do it. You gotta let people be themselves, no matter what it is, how it is. Until they decide, it ain't even if they decide. You know that? To change or make their ways acceptable to others. They way more happier than we are. Not gonna say we. They way more happier than those who do not. That's my goal to just be Sandy. To wake up in the morning and not feel like I need to hide myself from anyone or anything. To tell my truth. To be truthful. Not saying that I'm not, but you know what I mean? Just being truthful to who I am. I right, say I ain't trying to shrink myself to fit in nobody's uh, box. That's my goal. You don't have to try to figure out if who I am is who I who I portray myself to be. Who I am is me. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not putting on a facade or show 
that's one of the reasons I don't like to go live. Because I feel like I have to put on a show. I have to be entertaining when I'm not an entertainer. I'm just the person. I'm just a person who decided to do YouTube. If you can hear that. I live right next to a street. When I say right next to the street. If I'm in my room, I can look out my window and see the street. <clears throat> and the street, the street that's next to me, the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. It's kind of like a major street, so people really be doing 50, 60. Even though it's literally a stop right, right there. I don't know. This video's been longer than I want it to be. But it's all right. I pray for Peach and the people like her. I ain't gonna say people like her, but YouTubers who are constantly, everybody's being judged, right? But you're being judged so much that somebody's calling CPS on you. They're calling your partners, trying to get your deals broken. Trying to find a way to destroy you personally. I pray for them and I pray for the ones that are trying to do it. The greatest commandment of all is to love thy neighbor as I love, thy, as, as I love thyself and as Christ loves you. You feel like these people is doing something wrong, pray for them. Because the only person who can change or fix it or get it done, oh, excuse me, is the Lord. Not you. The Lord. The Lord. Everything that everyone else is irrelevant, baby. I'm just want a few more bites. Just a few more bites. Maybe they right here in my parking lot. Nope. They at the light. And I'm in North Carolina. You know, this is where it's one of the racing capitals. Okay? We got Charlotte Motor Speedway here, okay? And them folks love their racing. I got a little mini drag racing tracks all around this here place, okay? Including the streets. I never do a good intro. I ain't gonna do a good intro, but I never tell people. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I never do that. Until the end. When I tell you, there's three reasons I show up. The very first one, I love you. Two, I did that wrong. The very number one, God loves you. So do I. And I'm always here for your viewing pleasure. I did not edit this video today because I needed to get it out. So you can get Racine to reach over this table. First, let me push it up. Put this out the way. So I can say bye.